Hey, what's going on guys? Mr. D, it's me, AK Dingo. Enough with all of that little intro stuff. Uh, gameplay you're gonna be watching is something random. I think it's like 42 kills to 17, I don't know. Nothing special. But, what I'm gonna talk about is something that's kind of, uh, touchy, I think. And, you know, maybe could help you, maybe could not. I don't know. It's all up to you guys. And so, let's get into this. So, one thing that I've really noticed is how people are getting more and more of a negative view on... Uh, certain communities like uh, such as you know uh, the Christian community uh, any really really anything honestly like you can think of a stereotype and there's a negative view mostly for all of them and why is that um before I get into this I'm gonna credit uh, Chimamanda Adichie uh, there was a TED talk that she did about uh, the strength of a single story or the power of a single story now what is a power what is a single story uh, it's a stereotype so, uh, I, obviously, I obviously don't know a lot about Africa, so I may only have one story about that. I may only know one certain aspect about Africa, and frankly, I think most of the people know that, it, uh, th that they're starving. They're in a sense of economic depression, I would say, or just, uh, I can't really think, for lack of a better word, economic depression, and just uh, struggle to get out of where they are, so... But in reality, not everywhere in Africa is like that. And I know that. Uh, I've done research. I've read I've read African literature that tells me that. But it's preached to us every single day. And that's why it's kind of hard to get over that stereotype of that single story. And you, you see this everywhere. I mean, with, I don't know. I'm white. I know that it says uh, white people are racist. I don't know. And it's said that over and over. And... You know, when you're when something is preached to you over and over and stuff like that, it's really hard to get over it and think differently because that's all you've ever known. So I remember I actually visited this church once, and it was it was a pretty radical church. I do remember. Uh, this may put a little bit bad view of the Christian religion uh, in your mind, but uh, like I said, I'm a Christian, but I, I don't really support this either. It's like. They're talking about how, you know, if you have a friend that's gay, don't talk to him anymore. Uh, if you have a friend that's atheist, anything, uh, they're, hence, the devil or something like that. Now, honestly, I don't really associate with that many gay people. It's just, I don't. Uh, it's nothing against them. I just don't really have a lot of friends. But, I do have some atheist friends. I mean, or people that are not Christian, or not Christian, but not anything else. They believe there's a god they just don't know what it is i don't know the exact term for it uh you know i have muslim friends and they've said not to associate with them but you do anyway and when you do have that single story in your mind and that's what's told to you you really miss out on a lot i mean i can't i can't even tell i mean it's just certain experiences and certain just things of joy and stuff have come from these relationships and it's gonna upset people you already know uh, everyone's gonna not like a certain aspect about what you do it's just a fact of life but when you have this constant just telling of any uh, like I said stereotype or single story it really ruins not just one aspect but everything I mean everything is infected and so that's a problem that I've seen and you know I kind of want to change it it's it's a little bit disturbing I mean to know to like uh, just to hear the people that are saying this and I mean um, even today when you have some stereotypes about women and I don't know I feel like stereotypes about women are not as prevalent but they're still out there or stereotypes about African Americans or Europeans heck maybe even Russians I mean I don't see like there, there's something about everything like I said before and with that it's almost impossible to really grow and connect and this can really help you get this is um, can really be shown through the gaming community now it's actually it's the opposite in gaming you really don't know anything about someone like you know honestly I didn't even know what some of my gaming friends looked like until recent and I still don't know what some of them look like you know what and honestly if they told me they I don't know if they were gay atheist, gay atheism, ath, an ath, gay atheist that hates white people. 
I wouldn't care. I mean, it wouldn't really change. It's like, okay, well, that's you. I'm me. And, you know, let's play. So, you know what, guys? I want you to take this out in the real world and just remember this. I want you guys to remember that, you know, there's stories about everyone. And everyone's different. And everything, everyone's story should be heard. So, with that, guys, keep an open mind. Mr. D, it's me, a.k.a. Dingo. I'm out. Peace.